Yeah, Marcus, I'm just curious. When, when, when we see uh, winds having so much more mobility and, you know, and make extending plays like, like he's always done before the injuries, does that open up the playbook and allow you to be more aggressive? I guess it's an obvious question. Well, it does. I mean, you could run more longer developing plays where you don't feel like you're putting him at harm. You know, when he, he was nursing that injury, we are trying to get plays where the ball is getting out of his hand much quicker. Um, now that he's more mobile and he looked good all week, um, we're able to move the pocket a little bit or call shots down the field where we know that if trouble happened, he, he had the mobility to get out of it. JJ? Hey, Marcus, just kind of broadly, what have you learned about Carson now that you've had five actual games working with him, you know, in the lead up to the game and then on game day? Oh, the biggest thing that I love that is he's just very competitive. Um, no matter what the situation is, he's freaking playing balls out. Um, and, I mean, he's just improving, you know. You know, it's good to see. He's doing, he, he's doing what we're asking of him, and um, he's just getting better all around. George Bremer? Is the touchdown pass to Pittman, is that an example of, of the chemistry and the trust that's growing between him and, and Wentz? I mean, it's 50-50 ball. I think we expected to see some of that. Is that something you'll see more going forward? Oh, we'd like to get those opportunities, definitely. Um, you know, not you know, not just the trust from Carson to Pitt on those deep balls, even just, you know, us calling him, um, knowing that Pitt, I mean, when that ball is in the air, it's his. And, you know, it, it's good to see, and it gives us confidence that we could give to him those type of opportunities. AJ? Hey, Marcus, Frank was saying when you have your skill position players like, you know, Jonathan, Marlon, Pitt, Pascal, those guys playing with the kind of physicality they have this year, and especially on Monday night, that, that kind of sets a tone for an offense. How do you guys build on that identity of being a physical offense now? Uh, I mean, we kind of had that identity. I felt like going in, you know, obviously it started up front with the O-line, uh, you know, going into the year. Um, but those guys, Pittman and Pascal, they've – been physical since last year, you know, phys, um, Pascal since he's been here. And that's one thing that we loved about him. Um, and then it's just have grown and it, it has become an identity for that receiving group to, you know, to have that physicality in the perimeter. Um, and then, you know, you add in the backs that's running hard and it's just now becoming a mentality of the entire offense. And, uh, you know, one way to show it was against the Baltimore Ravens, who's, who's known for that. And I thought, uh, you know, I thought we stepped up to the plate and we matched it. Chat. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that leads into my question. The, the, the screen pass to Taylor where he goes 76. I mean, the blocks on the perimeter by, by uh, Zach and Doolin, that's what you guys, you, you focus on in practice. I mean, it's important for those guys to, to be that physical type of receiver. Well, we knew that going into this game that we were going to have to throw a lot of screen passes, just the exotic pressures that they bring that one thing that it opened up was screen passes in the perimeter. And so, you know, we worked it throughout the week. Our guys did a great job preparing. Um, and they executed it perfectly um, throughout the in the game.